Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechker. In this video, I'm going to do the 3D Benchmark Extreme Wildlife Test on the latest release Apple iPad Pro, which has got the M4 chipset. So this is Apple iPad Pro, which is the M4 chipset, and this is my first time doing the 3D Benchmark uh, Extreme uh, Wildlife Stress Test. So let's do the 20 minutes of extreme uh, testing on this iPad, and we'll try to see how is the overall performance regarding the temperatures, and how is the overall benchmark scores as well. And right now the battery percentage is of 71% as you can see clearly and let's start the test and we'll try to see even the comparison with the other uh, process like Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, even Apple's A17 Pro Bionic chipset. I'll try to do the separate comparison. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested. So let's get started and right now the temperature is about 25 degrees Celsius and maroon temperature you can see 23 degrees Celsius. So let's get started. So right now friends, after getting close to 13th loop, so it's been kind of 13 minutes of continuously testing this 3D benchmark testing and right now it's about 36 degrees Celsius at this moment as you can see, 37.2, so which is pretty decent enough I would say the temperatures right now and I can be back after some time guys, again to check overall temperature readings, what's happening with this latest iPad Pro with the M4 chipset. So we'll try to see the overall temperatures by end of the testing. And we'll try to see overall performance also, what's happening with this processor. I'm gonna be back after some time. So right now, as you can see, this is a 3D benchmark wildlife stress test on the latest released Apple iPad Pro with M4 chipset. So with the M4 chipset, the tab did uh, score really very, very good scores. You can see the stability 74%, so which is really good. And the best loop also is really very high when comparing with the other uh, processors. So this is one of the best process I would definitely say M4 chipset and I did try to do the comparison with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor so stay tuned for those videos comparison so you'll get to know the difference and look at the FPS guys it did went up to 65 FPS as well and that's also really very very good so throughout the time the pro performance is really best I would say in the M4 processor and it, it is definitely the powerful uh, chipset right now it is available so meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching until then straight of more updates and bye